Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. I pray for you all. God give you a long life and you live always happily there. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my YouTube channel. I have a request to you all. Watch this video till end for supporting me. So let's start with information. These are some updates on the NAR. Before starting the video, I have to tell you something. Go to google.com and search janaropinions.com and open this site. Here you can see the latest news, dinar opinions, and dinar guru updates on a single page. So visit this site for more information. Article, the Iraqi Central Bank issues a warning to banks regarding dollar deposits. A fresh edict from the Central Bank, spelling out that the citizens have the right to redeem their deposits in the banks and that the monies are guaranteed and it is their inherent right to do so through or by the year 2024. Nonetheless the unprecedented crowds ensued, what is unusual is the way the central bank exposed those banks that didn't have the money on hand were apparently found to be speculating with depositors' funds in dollars. That is not good and there will be consequences. The central bank is now going to take measures against banks that abstain from taking care of their obligations to the citizens. Article, Central Bank Settles Dollar Deposits, The Era of Dollarization is Over in Iraq. The dollar is out of control and we afraid from what TV says makes like we are in trouble. It's just the same old exaggeration, please don't drown on a drop of water. Both Alak and Sadani are doing the monetary reform and they're doing it to the best of their abilities. I will admit they are kind of slow and I wish they would speed it up. One of the requirements is to remove all foreign currency. Because you are now a sovereign country with a sovereign national currency. Which will soon have a new international exchange rate. Russian President Vladimir Putin revealed the volume of investments by Russian companies in Iraq. Noting that it amounts to 19 billion dinars, in addition to 50 companies operating in Iraq. The Russian president's statement came during discussions held Tuesday in Moscow with Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sudani, who arrived in the Russian capital earlier today. Putin indicated that Moscow and Baghdad are successfully coordinating work within the framework of OPEC Plus with the aim of achieving stability in global energy markets. He said, We are coordinating work within OPEC Plus and we are doing so with great success with the aim of achieving stability of the situation in global markets. And I hope that we will continue in working with this approach.